What is up, everyone? Team of the Warrior here. Welcome back to this, uh, series, I suppose. I don't know. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a series, but it was a fun idea I wanted to do. But, uh, yeah. So, in the meantime, I had to go to work, and now I'm home, and I did a bunch of stuff, uh, while I was here. So, instead of recording myself doing the pay-per-views and teams, yada, 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 that was going to take probably, like, that was going to be like a fucking 40-minute video, because I had to make freaking like 11 or 12 pay-per-view arenas and stuff. But, yeah, so, now that that's done, I'll show you guys my teams that I have. Uh, of course, we have the shield. Uh, actually, we got to take Ambrose out of that, because he's on a separate brand, so it's just Rollins and Reigns. A uh, shout out to Wacky Players 33. <laughs> Being online, uh, we got the Real Americans. We got the Hardy Boys. We got the Lost, <clears throat> the Beast, and the Best. Now, if you're wondering why I have this team on WWE 13, I had CM Punk and Brock Lesnar as a team, and they were like one of the best teams I had. It was on my PS3. And I had, like, custom music for them and everything. It was so awesome. So I wanted to give them another run in this universe. And we also have the New World Order. Just to have some teams so we can have some sort of title contention for the tag titles. Um, so, yeah. So that's what I did with uh, teams. And I'll show you guys uh, what pay-per-views and stuff I did. So we got Backlash. No Mercy, Money in the Bank, SummerSlam, Judgment Day, Unforgiven, Vengeance, Survivor Series, Armageddon, Royal Rumble, No Way Out, and WrestleMania 23. Now, it's not, I'm not doing like a specific area, I just like these classic pay-per-views better than the stuff that was on here. So, yeah, the, that is the arenas and stuff I made. Um, so, yeah, let's get things started. Uh, let me see what rivalries are going on, actually. So, we got Braun Strowman and the Macho Man. And here we go with my fucking camera and its stupid brightness again. There we go. Excuse me, for some reason, I'm in a rivalry with the Great Khali. I don't know why. And we got the Shield and the Real Americans. So, not not bad starting off. You'd think there'd be a feud for the mid-card title, but I guess not. And main event has no rivalry, so, yeah. So, the way I'm going to be doing this, let me explain before I get started, is I will simulate, like, the first, ep the first episode of each show. And then I'm going to skip and go to the pay-per-view. So, if there's any matches I'm interested in seeing, I will watch the matches on the pay-per-view. If not, we're going to simulate them to see what happens. And we're going to do that month by month. Well, okay, so... The first two shows is only when we start. So then, each month, we're just going to skip to the next pay-per-view. Over and over. Actually, no. We'll, we'll do the first two shows each month. So it'll be Heat, Main Event pay-per-view every month and like I'm gonna watch like the money in the bank match uh any championship matches maybe you know I'm gonna watch like a hell on a cell maybe I'll definitely watch the elimination chamber or the royal rumble stuff like that I'll watch but uh yeah so firstly on the first episode of heat we have Cody Rose taking on the rock Brian Danielson taking on Brock Lesnar Ric Flair taking on Triple H. Me versus the Great Khali for God knows what reason. And the Real Americans versus The Shield. Typical WWE making the teams go against each other before the pay-per-view. And also Strowman versus Savage. I guess we gotta start off the rivalry somehow, so I'm gonna simulate these because none of these matches are interesting. The Rock losing to Cody Rhodes, that's surprising. Brian Dennis and Brock Lesnar. Oh, he beat Brock. Wow. All right. Ric Flair versus Triple H. And Evolution Collision. Of course, you know, the big man Triple H got to put himself over. Me and the Great Holly. Why is this even happening? Like, why? Yeah, and I beat his big ass. I don't know why this match is happening. 
Like this is a why is this a rivalry? What do me and the Great Cully have to do with each other? And we got this match. I'm going with Shield. Yep, Shield. They, guess what that means? A typical WWE, the champ, the challengers beat the champions, so they get a title match. Uh, Strowman and Savage. Wow, Randy Savage beat the champion, so guess what that means? He's gonna match at the pay-per-view. On to main event. The first episode. So I wonder if it created rivalries now that I did that. Yes, it did. Alright, so rivalries we got on main event. Uh, Del Rio and Hulk Hogan. What kind of rivalry is that? Our truth and Ricky Steamboat? Who asked for that? Randy Orton and Suicide over the European Championship. That one's fine. This, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Nobody wants to see that. This, I, nobody wants to see this either. I mean, Rivers kind of suck on both shows, but we're going to ride it out and see where it goes. So we got Matt Hardy. I don't know why he's not wrestling in a tag team match going against Alan Wolf. Alan Wolf picking up a big victory over a veteran like Matt Hardy. Why is Jeff teaming with Mortis? With, why is Scott Hall teaming with Batista? You have teams. What is going on? Okay, and Mortis and Jeff Hardy win. Okay. Alright, wait, do I have to do the, uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, this is probably at the right place. That's to select the champion. Hold on. Current ranking. So, number one contender, Randy Savage, CM Punk, Swagger. Yeah, the Hardys aren't even in contention. What the fuck? Shields, number one contenders, NWO, number two, Beast and Best, The Lost. Okay. Well, what? Hold on. What the fuck? Wait a minute. They're a team, so why aren't they wrestling? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, Mr. Perfect versus Kane. Don't nobody want to see that. Kane going over, of course. Th this glorious rivalry right here. Th th you know, this is the hottest rivalry. You know, coming out of WrestleMania. And Ricky Steamboat picking up the win over the 48-7 television champion, R-Truth. Hulk Hogan. Why is he facing? What happened? What happened to the New World Order? What, what? Does, Kevin, does Kevin Nash have to do this match to go away? Is his fucking quad torn or something? No, apparently not, because he fucking won, so what's the problem here? Why why are Kevin Nash and Hulk Hogan going at each other already? It's the first episode. You have nothing to build off of. Is, is he turning on the NWO? I don't understand this. Suicide and Randy Orton, the champion winning. Alright, so we got our rivalry set. Let's go to the pay-per-view. Because it's just going to be rematches and shit every week. Our truth with AJ Lee. What what does the women's champion have to do with our truth and Ricky Steamboat? What, is she supposed to be the... Our the, truths Carmella on this game? I don't fucking know. What, what a show opener, let me tell you. Our truth won. Okay. Oh boy, yeah. I, defini I definitely wanted this in a Falls Count Anywhere match. For sure. Yeah, this is definitely... You know, this is the kind of quality... I want. This is the kind of opponent I want to face in a false count anywhere. And I beat his ass again. Hogan and Del Rio. Can Hogan win the championship? I'm not interested in this at all. Well, Del Rio's music wants to play, so... Del Rio retains the championship. Shield versus Real Americans for the tag team titles. It's a table match. Who's gonna win? Shield or Real Americans? I'm gonna say Real Americans are gonna retain. It's too soon to drop the titles. Yeah, it was too soon. Strowman and Savage for the, excuse me, WWE and this video, wait, what's main eventing? Why is the European Championship main eventing? Okay, way to put the mid card over. Alright, I'm going with Strowman. Yeah. Braun Strowman retains the Undisputed Championship. Shawn Michaels and Mr. Perfect. I'm going with Shawn Michaels, I don't fucking know, Shawn Michaels wins. Is Randy Orton going to take home the European title? No, so no titles changed hands. Alright, well, let's see where things lie now. After Backlash. <laughs> Freaking me versus Great Khali match is probably going to get some Backlash. Um, 
Chris Benoit and Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett is the Intercontinental Champion. So Chris Benoit could get himself in contention. And he beats the champion. Get in the match, definitely. Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar, the WrestleMania 19 main event. Kurt Angle defeated was Brock putting people over? Since when is this one? So Brock puts over Brian Danielson and now Kurt Angle. Okay. This again. Oh now Ric Flair gets his win back against Triple H. Alright. This is still a thing. The Great Holy, you ain't beating me, fool. You ain't beating me. This is still a rivalry for some reason. The champion's winning. Randy Savage beats him again. So you can beat him when it's non-title, but when it's for the title, you can't. Okay. Oh, boy. What a show opener. Santino Morella versus Kane. Yeah, there was no way in hell Santino was going to win. Matt Hardy and Alan Wolf. Actually, let me turn the flying down real quick. I mean, it's starting out. Alright. Matt Hardy and Alan Wolf versus... Why are Scott Hall and Batista a team? They're not a tag team. Why are they teaming? Matt Hardy, you got beat by Alan Wolf last uh, month. So what, are you guys a team now? Because, I don't understand this. And they get the win. Kurt Henning and Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash is going against everybody in the NWO and he's beating them. First Hogan, now freaking Mr. Perfect. Oh, and now th this one. Our truth Del Rio and Ambrose. Was Ambrose the next number one contender? John Moxley getting the title shot? Well, it looks like it. Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. That's how you main event a show on main event, <laughs> but not on Ion Television. I'm going Undertaker. Yeah, Undertaker, definitely, for sure. All right, let's go on to No Mercy and see what we got there. Ricky Steamboat and R Truth. What a show opener! An Extreme Rules match. We got me and the Great Collie in an Extreme Rules match. Hulk Hogan and Del Rio in a Hell in a Cell. Ooh, tag team Hell in a Cell for the tag team championships. Three Hell in a Cell matches. Two Extreme Rules matches. What's the main event? Oh, what the European title main eventing a pay per view again? Why? Okay, suicide. Okay, so nobody cares about this, Ricky Steamboat. I don't give a flat fuck about this. You still ain't beating me, Kali. I don't know what it is. You can't fucking even half walk. That's probably why I'm freaking just spearing you, and then that's probably it, because you can't stand back up. I'm not watching this. That does not interest me at all. This interests me, but I don't really want to watch it. Randy Savage wins the Undisputed Championship. Can the Shield win the titles? The Shield are the new tag team champions. Why this match is happening, I don't know. Ric Flair, of course. Will Shawn Michaels make a trifecta of three titles changing hands? No, Suicide retains still. Well, we got some new champions. Suicide successfully retained their title. After a tough win. The Shield has won the tag team titles. Randy Savage won that title. Well, that's it for Braun Strowman. <laughs> Alright, though, look at this. Zack and Brock Lesnar, my tag team partner, going up against Brock. Oh, but Brock doesn't want to put him over. Okay. But you want to put over Kurt Angle and Brian Danielson. Angle and Strowman. Braun Strowman beats Kurt Angle. This again. I don't know why this keeps happening. Now Ric Flair wins again. This. Why is this going on? A submission match? Does the Great Khali even know a submission at all? Does he know how to do a submission besides the freaking uh, the head squeeze thing? The vice grip, whatever the fuck that's called? Apparently not, because he fucking lost. Again, that's I'm 4-0 against the Great Khali. Just, just shut this rivalry down. Just shut it down. He can't beat me. What is the story behind this rivalry? Did I make fun of him because he can't speak English and, I, and he came after me? I don't. I don't know. What, what, what? Rollins and Reigns. This again. Why are they fighting? The typical WWE. Now, now they're facing on here. Oh, if the real Americans can get a win, they're gonna face a shield. Watch. Real Americans are gonna win. 
They won. I said, now they're getting a title rematch. It, it's like Toby Emu said. Is, is my controller talking to me? Because I just predicted that. Randy Savage versus The Rock. The Rock is going to win to get a title match. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? The Rock... The Rock... For some reason, facing the champion, now The Rock's getting the title match. I can predict this. I got that smart mark mine. Why is Matt Hardy a singles wrestler? You are in a tag team. Where is Jeff? What the fuck happened? Is he hurt like in real life? Is that what happened? Did he get hurt in a motocross accident or something? Why is Matt wrestling by himself? I set them as a fucking tag team. I don't... I, the only two teams that have been teams is the Real Americans and the Shield. And that's going to get stale after a while. Oh, here we go. The Lost. Some other team. Thank God. Kurt Henning beat Matt Hardy. So what? Is this going to determine a contendership? If we beat the Real Americans, do we get the title shot? Of course not. <laughs> Why would we? Kevin Nash versus Kane. Okay, but why? Kevin Nash was Kevin Nash going over everyone. First Hogan, then Mr. Perfect, now Kane. Was Kevin Nash on the rise? Big Sexy, Del Rio, and Ambrose again. No, Ambrose, you ain't getting the title shot yet. Ricky Steamboat and R Truth. Oh boy, another Extreme Rules match. Ricky Steamboat wins again. Suicide and Shawn Michaels. Well, Shawn Michaels is getting another title match. Alright, hold on. Let me go look at these rivalries. So, what? what's the... What's the... Oh, thank God that freaking me and Kali rivalry only has one week left. I couldn't take no more of that. Randy Savage and Strowman. How is this a rivalry? He hasn't been involved with Strowman at all. Watch, Strowman's gonna get a random title shot, even though he freaking lost. Or did he? I don't even fucking care. Ugh. He's got one week remaining. Uh, please. Get it. I thought Randy Orton and Suicide was a rivalry. Apparently that was a short-lived one. Alright, Demo and the Great Khali. Submission match again. You're not beating me, Great Khali. Just shut it down. Just retire. You're not gonna beat me, dude. You're not. No matter what you do with the chop or the vice grip or the Kali bomb, you're not going to beat me. One spear and your tall ass is down. I'm telling you, look, Archer, just give it up, man. You lost to Ricky Steamboat like five times, dude. Just shut it down. You're. <laughs> Come on, man. Hogan versus Del Rio. Is Hogan going to get the job done? No, Del Rio still retains. Are the Real Americans going to win the titles back? Or was the Shield just transitional champions? No, the Shield retains. Is Suicide going to drop the title? No, Suicide's still retaining. Can I ask where the fuck the Intercontinental Championship is? Strowman and Savage. Yeah, Braun Strowman lost again. Get him out of here. Send him packing. He's done. You were our original champion. You lost the title immediately. So, you're worthless, Strowman. Money in the Bank, Brock Lesnar, Sheamus, Cody Rhodes, Ambrose, The Rock, and Triple H. We're going to watch this match. <coughs> Alright, uh... I would do entrances, but it's going to take two... Actually, we'll do entrances, because I want you guys to see the arena and shit. Oh, we'll uh, skip past this loading screen, though. Alright. We are waiting our Money in the Bank competitors. First up, Cody Rhodes. I remember when he had that mustache. Fuck off, Michael Cole. I don't want to hear you. Here comes John Moxley. He's a U.S. champion for some reason. Champion, 
John Moxley, motherfucker. Dean Ambrose is dead. Right, here comes the great white Sheamus. Alright. I'm just skipping it after their uh, introduction. Oh, the Brahma Bull. Dwayne Johnson. Of course, the two part timers come out last. That's how WWE would do it. Brock Lesnar. The Beast. I don't know why he's not teaming with CM Punk. They're a team, but okay. I don't even think CM Punk has even been on the show yet. But Brock is, and he's in the Money in the Bank. No gay 2K. I'm playing. Alright, let's get this Money in the Bank match underway. Wait, oh, I forgot about Triple H. Ooh, it's the uh, early 2000s Triple H. The, uh, like 2000 Triple H. The game. Uh, Triple H. Uh, we're gonna win the money in the bank. Uh, ladder match. Uh, I'm gonna cash in. Uh, The game Triple H. I'm not waiting through his full entrance. So, gonna see who is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Let me pull up my chair because this one might be long. Hope I don't sound farther away. I am just gonna watch this. Okay, fuck off. Wait, what up? I don't want to just simulate it. Alright, everybody's scrapping. Brock on Ambrose. Sheamus on The Rock. Never mind, Sheamus and Ambrose in the corner. The Rock on Triple H. Attitude Era rivalry renewed. Brock Lesnar going after Cody. I'm used to calling him Cody now. The Rock with a big clothesline. Uh-oh. Brock. German suplex. Oh, Triple H. Is he the first one going for a ladder? The Rock stopping him. Oh, look at Cody going for the ladder, trying maybe trying to end it early. No, he's setting it back up like a retard. Oh my God, Brock with a German suplex. Neckbreaker by Sheamus. I may add some sillier characters in here in the future, but I wanted it to seem like a serious type thing at the moment. I have some ideas. Sheamus swinging at ghosts. Triple H and Ambrose. Oh, God! Big Billy to Billy. Man, Brock is all over Cody. It's like Vince McMahon sent him after Cody for fucking creating AEW. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, Cody fighting back. Sheamus got the steps. What are you doing with that? So far, nobody has put a ladder in the ring yet. Oh, Ambrose taking the steps away. Oh, my God. The Rock's got a chair. Oh. Dean Ambrose all over Sheamus. Look at Cody Rose just all over Brock. Beating him like he owes him money. Beating him for all the people that they had job to Brock. So much action. Oh, this is a custom Money in the Bank arena. I know there's one on the game. I just wanted to make my own just because I'm like that. Oh, Ambrose. 
Nice neck breaker. Uh oh. Oh my god. Brock! A German suplex. The Rock nailing Triple H with the ladder. Okay, these guys are fighting on the concrete. Brock beating the piss out of Cody. There's so much action to call in this Money in the Bank match. Nobody's even went for the freaking briefcase yet. Oh, Cody back outside. Well, Brock and Cody are just all over each other. I don't understand this. You got Ambrose and Sheamus killing each other on the outside. The Rock and Triple H. The Rock, the first one to freaking climb up the ladder. Now Triple H trying to freaking do some Pentagon Junior shit. Uh, if there's a if there's anybody you want to see me make in the game, let me know. I'll try to create them. Uh oh, Brock and Ambrose. Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh, Sheamus, look out below! Ooh! Brock and uh, Moxley are down. Jesus, Sheamus. Beating the fuck out of freaking Moxley with that chair. My god. Oh, Brock. Wait a minute. Cody! Ooh, big back suplex. Damn! Nail him right in the mouth with that ladder. Throwing another ladder in. Did you really need two? I mean, you got one ladder, steel steps, and four people in the ring. I don't really think you need another ladder in there. Uh oh. Oh! I ain't never ever seen Seamus do that. Now the AI is trying to set up the ladder in a weird way. God, I remember on 07 when they would do this and they would lean the other ladder up against the other. Oh my god, he just fucked up Moxley with that German. Uh oh. Brock. Oh. Seamus dropping that thick elbow. Drop kick by Cody. Seamus, what are you doing? If that was 07, he would have dove off. Oh my god. Two people got ladders. Cody is out cold. Oh my god, Brock Lesnar, German suplex. Oh, Triple H, right in the schnoz. Right in that big honker, the Toucan Sam Beak. Oh, right in the beak again. I don't know why Sheamus is all over Triple H. What is this, 2010? Jesus Christ, Brock is fucking up Moxley. Nobody's even touched the briefcase yet. I'm worried about how long this match is gonna go. <laughs> they keep knocking the fucking ladder down. This is gonna be like fucking an hour long. I guarantee you this match is gonna be a fucking hour long. We're already at freaking almost 30 minutes. Like, Jesus Christ. Cody going behind. Oh, The Rock. He ain't gonna be playing in movies if his face keeps getting hit with the ladder. Is somebody gonna climb the ladder? Like, come on. You would think somebody would be climbing by now. The Rock stomping a mud hole in Triple H. Ooh, that's one way to take down Brock. Just climb. Get it, Moxley. Never mind. Ooh, nice suplex. Ooh, Cody. Come on. Go for it, Shamey. Come on, Shamey. Show, show him that brave change. Oh, no, Cody. Look out. Ooh, Shamey's hit the ladder. Oh, it almost crashed the game. Oh, <laughs> Shamey's got fucked up. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh my god, Ambrose, Jesus! I keep calling him Ambrose and Moxley. How is Seamus even standing? Oh my god, into another ladder. They are fucking up Seamus. Jesus Christ. The Rock with a big back suplex. Oh! Freaking Seamus just took down two people with that. Jesus Christ, this is a clusterfuck. Oh, man. Can you imagine if this, free, if this game had eight people, like freaking 2K19? Jesus. Ooh, shot to the face. Ooh. 
Why are you going to continue to just fuck up Sheamus? Like, what did Sheamus do? See, that's why Sheamus is about to win. Never mind. Bro, you know, Brock just said, fuck you, Ambrose, and just threw him into the ladder with two people on it. Because, you know, Brock don't give a fuck. Brock doesn't give a fuck about nothing but his farm. That's the only thing he cares about. Oh, The Rock. Oh, never mind. The Rock, the first one that touched the briefcase. Brock, Brock stopped that real quick. Oh, wait. Brock Lesnar. Oh, no. He's not about to become Mr. Money in the Bank. Brock Lesnar. Nope. Uh-oh. Powerbomb off the ladder. Oh, man. This match is going to go on for a while. Ooh, neck breaker. Why is everybody going for Sheamus? Leave Sheamus alone! Oh my god, his neck. What did Sheamus do? Thank you, Brock, for taking that out of the ring. Did one good thing. Ooh, Cody, why you keep freaking soccer ball kicking people? Come on, somebody... Sheamus! Why would you do that? Uh oh, Brock. Come on, Triple H is Nick. Brock's putting everybody on their neck because he don't give a fuck. He he he's he's make he's making five million for this match. What is, what is Triple H doing? Uh, Triple H, you good? Oh, he's stalking Brock. Uh, Triple H, I don't want to turn you back. And that's why. Big German. Uh-oh, Sheamus. Is he looking for Celtic Cross? No, Powerbomb. I don't know why I thought he was going for Celtic Cross. Oh, Sheamus. Sheamus, the freaking Iron Man of this match, is a clusterfuck around the bottom of the ladder. Uh-oh. Brock's about to fuck him up. Oh my god. Triple H just got fucked up. He was holding his back. Uh-oh. I forgot it does that when you don't touch the controller for a while. Cody, what is this? Alabama Slam. That's a lot of weight. Triple H ain't no small man. He ain't no vanilla midget. Ooh, the rock with a big kick. Somebody set up the ladder, climb up, and get the damn briefcase. There you go, Brock. Brock Lesnar about to win. Brock Lesnar! Oh, he dropped the briefcase. He dropped it. Somebody grab it. All right. Brock Lesnar wins money in the bank, but at least... I knew he was going to be a part-timer. I knew it was either going to be Brock, The Rock, or Triple H. Brock Lesnar is Mr. Money in the Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, Brock Lesnar is Mr. Money in the Bank. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, I think I'm going to end this part here. In the next part, we will move on to, if I can see, SummerSlam. So we're already about to be at SummerSlam. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.